Welcome back to AMP Garage. This is Boost Bottles Explained. If you are looking to upgrade your motorized bike or already have, you have probably either seen a peculiar performance mod or have fallen into the trap and gotten one. I am of course talking about the infamous Boost Bottle. Known for being the stupidest mod of them all, only serving as a separator between those who know what they are doing, and those who would literally spend $30 on something that provides as much performance gain as a carbon fiber hood sticker and pointy chrome lug nuts, which every Civic owner thinks makes their car fast. What is a boost bottle and the concept behind it? Designed to give performance boost on a large displacement two-stroke engine, the boost bottle is a little canister that is attached directly to the intake by a hose. The concept behind the boost bottle was to deliver an extra charge of fuel at a certain RPM range. Unused fuel is stored into the canister until the engine reaches a certain RPM, which creates excessive vacuum pressure, causing the extra fuel stored in the canister or boost bottle to give a boost, but I want to make the point across that they do nothing to a motorized bike engine. Even on a big 250 and 400 cc engine, with porting specifically designed to utilize a boost bottle, they really only made a noticeable difference. So by using a boost bottle on a motorized bike, it would do nothing, and I repeat, nothing, but take money out of your pocket and would mean that BikeBerry scammed another victim. Even if a motorized bike was engineered to use a boost bottle, it still wouldn't noticeably affect performance at all. Another thing to mention is that the boost bottles were only used on large displacement two-stroke race bikes and was noticed that they did make a noticeable difference in power, but was soon found irrelevant and were outperformed. Granted, it might have worked in the 80s, but by no means does it work with a motorized bike engine, which is entirely different on many scales. Sure, they were at one time performance upgrades, but if they were truly the miracle mod sent from God himself that BikeBerry claims it is, it wouldn't make sense as to why they are not widely used, especially in motorized bike racing and high performance applications. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you want more of these uh, informational videos or just any videos in general, please hit that subscribe button and like, send a comment as to uh, if or what I got wrong and just any uh, video recommendations or yeah. All right. Have a good one guys. And thanks for watching.